biggest thing is that um, when you come into the audition is one, if you can get the sides ahead of time, be prepared. Uh, come in with a with a fresh headshot. Even if you submitted a headshot before, you always want to take a headshot in with you. And um, listen. Listen is the biggest thing. A lot of actors don't listen when they ask you. The biggest thing about an audition is that they want to see what you can do, if you fit the role, and can you take direction. If you can't take direction, if you can't change what the director is asking you at that moment, then most likely you're not going to get casted in the project. Some of the casting directors are really stern. And when you walk in, they're like, hit your mark, do your thing, and go on to the next one. And some casting directors, like myself, we're pretty, I'm pretty lenient as far as you come in, okay, who are you? You introduce yourself and say, do you understand the role that you're auditioning for? If they do or if they have a question at that moment, then they can ask the question. It all just depends on the mood that you see when walking into the audition. If they look like they're straight to business, you go in there, you do your audition and, and step out. Or if you see if they're a little bit lenient, that you could say, or introduce yourself and they never shake the hand. That's the biggest thing. Never shake a hand to a casting director. They're kind of iffy about that. So I'm not, but a lot of them are. So it's always good to say hi and, you know, like I said, introduce yourself is the biggest thing. And then they'll let you know, okay, hit your mark and do your business. Or they'll be like, they'll ask you again, you know, questions on the role if they, if you have any questions as an actor. A lot of people go in there very nervous. And so. For me, I, I like to kind of take that little edge off of nervousness and let them feel comfortable and not be so stern with them. So, But everyone's different. Well, you know, it's funny. I was just casting for a project right now. Uh, and two things. This one, one little story I'll share with everybody. is uh, This actor came in to the audition. He was sitting in the lobby. You never know who you're talking to when you're sitting in the lobby. One of my assistants went out there and the female actress asked him, can I get the sides for the for the audition and the other guy goes oh yeah can I get the sides for uh, whatever that role is the blah 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 so my assistant came comes back and he says yeah this guy was really rude to me outside and he says, he says oh he's next to audition so my assistant says switch seats with me so I said okay so I switched seats with him now he's looking like he's the director or the casting director of the project and the guy walks in and realizes I just messed with the wrong person and so he goes to audition. I, the guy goes, go ahead, audition. And he flubs up the first line. And the guy goes, it's okay, it's okay, start from the top. He flubs up by the second line and crumbles up his sides, throws it to the wall, and curses his way out of the audition. So please believe that I did call his agent. And I said, I would never recommend that you send this client out for an audition again. I'm, an, I'm a lenient casting director. If it was somebody else they probably would never call him back for anything. There are events that casting directors and agents and managers get together and they all talk and if they get one bad seed, let me believe, believe you not that everybody's gonna know, you know who was a bad seed. You may not be getting any callbacks for that or any auditions.